are we who we attract or is it only our standards that filter out the nonsense? Um, I think both are true. So in a lot of ways, we are who we attract. Um, based on my experience, I feel, I'm not even going to say on my experience, if you're an attractive person, you're going to attract all kinds of people. I think we all can agree on that. But I've noticed that it's been certain times in my life where I'm like, damn, I'm only attracting narcissists or damn, I'm only attracting this kind of guy. It took me to take a step back and look at myself and say, okay, you're attracting narcissists because you're in a, I don't know, fix me head space. <clears throat> so yeah, I think both are true. Like, yes, our standards do filter it, but also like just depending on where you are, you will start attracting a certain type of person. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. You said Sweeney, you cut off. Yeah, I said go ahead, Sweeney. My bad. Um <clears throat> I feel bad for single people. Cause every day we get on these panels and they have to explain their singleness to the world. And that's exactly what that was. She was explaining her singleness. Oh, you know, when you, cause like what, what people like that tend to say is they say, oh yeah, you know, you gotta, uh, when you, you attract your standards and when you on a certain level, won't nobody try you. No, that's not it. Basically what you basically did was say, okay, I'm not going to deal with anybody so I can protect my heart. I'm not going to deal with nobody. And then when somebody come and ask me, Hey, what's going on with your life? Oh no, I'm just I'm just in a different headspace so that I don't people don't try me anymore. No, you just single as hell and you're trying to figure out and you're trying to explain it to the world why you're single. Because if what she said is true, right? If what she said is true is that you are who you attract and that she's in a headspace or people who say it's not gonna take her out of it, and people who say I'm in a headspace where the, the knuckleheads won't try me, then what about the ones that aren't knuckleheads? Where are they at? Because you filtered out them. So that means there's a group of people that should be there. And you should be having to explain your singleness right now because you shouldn't be single. Because you should have a not knucklehead alongside you. But when, and that's why it's a problem on some of these shows because nobody ever asked a hard question. Okay, then I get it. You say, you, you, you. You don't attract the knuckleheads, then where's the where's the where's the the other guy? What's going on with that? Oh well, uh, I, I don't. Then then they get the beatboxing because they don't have an answer for that. So it's easy to go out there and say, I'm in a I, if you put yourself in a great space and you you put yourself on a certain level, you won't attract who you won't attract these bad people. Yeah, but are you attracting the good ones though? Or are you just trying to explain your singleness by putting it on everybody else instead of yourself? I like that, Sweeney. I like that. Hi. What are your thoughts about that, man? You think true? You think Sweeney got some truth into what he's saying? Uh, did he kind of change how you're gonna respond? Well, he got a little bit of truth into it because you do try to explain why you're single. Um, but it's like I'm, I'm in offense with what he said because people are asked why you single and then they don't understand for me i am single but it's a mental thing for me because i i, got, I have to better myself to be better for somebody else so i mean even in the video i think like when she said you are who you attract i think even like what malicia was saying you do attract if you are a person that's like a nurturing soul and a fix me person, you're going to attract those damaged people. And then you're looking at yourself like, damn, I'm back in this situation again. Um, but I mean, you are, you, sometimes you are who you attract. I mean, do you care? Like, I don't know. I, I mean, you, and if you beautiful, you're going to, you are going to attract a lot of shit boatload of people. So you do got to kind of like filter it out. Uh, Wait, Jay, you got a question? Oh, yeah. My question was uh, to the women. Would you say who are more so the aggressor? I think I know the answer to this. I just want to. 
who are usually the aggressors when it comes to approaching you, whether it be publicly or otherwise, in terms of shooting their shot? Is it usually the knuckleheads or is it usually like people that you would aspire to date? Um, I, I'm big on you don't know who you're go- I believe in wolf and sheep clothing nowadays like every everybody don't come to you like they who they really are like I was saying before on the show people hide who they really are so sometimes they are very aggressive and then you have to be like uh-uh, I'm not dealing with that you have to shut it down right then and there but you might attract a good you meet good guys, but when you're not in that head, you in a fucked up head space, you don't know who is who nowadays. But I'm guessing, like, what I'm asking is, out of the percentage of guys that approach you, that approached you, even that you've dated, because, I, I mean, I'm not going to, you wouldn't say everybody that you dated was horrible. It probably just didn't work out for whatever reason. Right. And, they, and I mean? it wasn't. It but wasn't. out of the out of the percentages of those people, were they good guys or were they knuckleheads more? So? I'll say 45% was uh, good guys. My bad. No, I saw good. Where, Jay? You got another question? Wait, good? So you betting 400? Kyle? Huh? In baseball terms, you'll be betting 400 right now. I don't look at f- baseball. I don't know sports, so I don't know. 400. <laughs> but that's a good percentage. Like, if a basketball player is shooting 40% from the three-point line, that's excellent. Oh, see, I don't know about sports, so you you speaking foreign to me. Yeah, so you're doing a good job. <laughs> I mean, you, you gotta, what you was gotta... Jay's question? What'd you say, Cookie? What was Jay's question? It was out of the percentage of people that approach you, percentage of men that approach you, and that you've dealt with. Would you? What would be the percentage of good guy? Well, good guys that are good for you versus knuckleheads. the the way people holler at me, at me or in the in the south in general it's usually on some cat call stuff so i feel like anybody that'll cat call you from across the street is a knucklehead so i'm gonna go off that um data and say probably men that would come up to me like a real man would be probably about um 15 percent I'm going to say this too, Jay, because you didn't, you're not asking about their approach because you're asking if they're good guys. I mean, how do you know a woman's a good woman just off approach? Like, you don't, you don't know that. So you can't expect me to know if he's a good guy off his approach. He could approach me great, but he could be a serial killer. Like, I don't, I don't know if he's a good guy. So I can't really answer that. No, I guess what I was asking as, uh, I guess the approach of the people that they gave time to, because I mean, I'm sure Y'all have given knuckleheads time at some point in your life. You know what I'm saying? We all grown up. So what percentage was somebody that you like, okay, that was a good person, whether it worked out or not, versus hmm. a catastrophe? Okay. Okay. Oh, that okay. percentage. I don't okay. know. <laughs> I don't, I don't I don't I don't I don't date a lot. So that's a hard question. So my percentage is going to be weird. Um, probably, it's probably about a 50-50 for me. The older I got, the better it got. 